In this video, I will explain how to use a stem cell to create a composite structure of iron oxide and dioxide. Two neurocrystals joined together in the shape of a, a rod and a bone. First of all, we have to create a titan oxide structure. And for this, we use this instrument, which creates the unit cells. You input the space group, 61 in this case. The lattice parameter. And the atomic position. In relative coordinates of a crystal. We can see the bipolar factor. Oxygen occupancy in the right water factor, and finally, oxygen again. This is uh, how it looks like. This is the brookite um, titan oxide. And uh, by selecting JO, you can see the geometry of it in itself, which is in this case orthorhombic. And um, we can replicate the unit cell. We choose, for example, this kind of uh, replica. We select a smaller radius and we should be able to see the atoms. Okay, we are ready now to uh, check the slicing geometry. Slice as probably too, uh, too thick. So you choose something like two Armstrong. Automatic slice and perform a better fitting of a geometry of a, of a cell. And we are ready to save this structure use a special KRK for, uh, format. We call this um, title of side rod dot KRK. And uh, we could do in principle the same for iron oxide, but I prefer to load it directly from any file, for example, James file. Go and we can once again replicate this file maybe five times in any direction. We go, we select the old cell and carve out of it uh, a sphere, just delete outside, and the radius is just set by this rectangle. We can choose different sizes of it atoms and we, here we have the spherical ion oxide um, nanocrystal and we can go to a different uh, direction for example the one one two and this is the, the x direction which is orthogonal to this one and we obtain a rotation to make this a real rotation not just a visual rotation of cell rotation. And finally, by refit, we fit the geometry exactly on the sphere. The sphere. Okay. Um, slice. Okay. And save also this crystal as a K or K sphere. Not K or K. Ready now, we can add the titan oxide crystal by this command. But before doing this, we have to select this uh, corner of, um, of a cell where we will add the new crystal. Something like this. It will be added in this corner here. 
add crystal here we go and in the direction also it's quite okay reset to go back to original view and then refit to get the geometry I suggest to use a slightly larger geometry with 80 here and 80 here. This is the actual geometry of a, of a unit cell, while a um, different uh, um, box here shows only the selection area. But by doing geo, we can select slice and then geo, we get this to the actual geometry size. This is only an indication. Okay. Slice, and this makes everything effective. Or we can decide that the slice, yeah, it seems okay. Okay. We save the composite structure. And we are ready now for the simulation. In this microscope condition, we press HVM, and this leads us to some reasonable uh, imaging condition. Of course, you can change any parameter you want, and if you press HVM, you change the pixel size and the uh, sampling for this condition. For example, we can change this, but nothing changes for this setting. And uh, auto slice. After a while, it should be possible to see the result of simulation. Here we go. We will zoom out, and this is a simulation. Actually, um, the x and y uh, are the same, uh, but if, if this were not the case, we can also um, sample in any direction. And also, we can perform, for example, um, an, an image. Um, through focal imaging and for example loop defocus between 0 and say 501 it's step over 100 and then image loop because just we are changing the imaging condition We are almost ready now. Okay, this is normal. So this image is performed zero defocus, 100, Armstrong, 200, 300, 400, this is Scherzer, or less, 500. If you want to get more details about this image, for example, you press image details, and this tells you, for example, the spread of focus uh, wavelength and uh, astigmatism defocus of your image. And that pre that's pretty much all you would need to know for a beginning, beginner use of this program.